How is life treating you, viewers? Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, continuing on with the Ballad of Gay Tony walkthrough videos. Now, this next mission you do with Tony is one where you have to go down to a golf driving place and, well, it's unique. It's kind of interesting, but it is frustrating because you have to be very correct on your timing. And you're helping out Rocco, who, well, yeah, he's kind of a jerk, but it's necessary. This mission is called Practice Swing. Oh, where the fuck have you been, man? Yeah, I came as soon as I could. I don't pay for as soon as I could. Sleep with half the women in Liberty City, no doubt. What's wrong with you, man? You're acting like an asshole. You think I don't know that? You think I like being like this? Then what's wrong, T? I fucked up. Good and proper. I worked at Gonquin Nightlife 20 years. I beat everyone. Mayors, rivals, drugs, everyone. And this time, I fucked up. I'm the only man in the history of this town with the hottest gay and straight clubs at the same time, and I'm about to lose everything. What are you talking about, T? I don't know if it's that idiot Evan, or, or the economy, or this fucking cocaine, or the pills, which I am not taking anymore, but this time, I fucked up. Oh. Oh. I've done a deal with the wrong devil, man. I'm such an idiot. Hey, things have been bad before, man. You get us out of it. I fight, you plot, together we get out of it. Sure, but we've never been this fucked before. Hey, you saved me, man. Made me. Gay Tony? will always be the king of this town. You are this town. I sold the business to two different people, and they each think they own the lot. Man, we're fucked. So I'll go tell them they gave you the money as a present. If they don't like it, I take them to the special VIP room at the bottom of the West River. <laughs> it's going to be very crowded in the VIP room. <laughs> These are not nice people, and there's a lot of them. And right now, you and me have to go play nice with one of them so they don't start sending rent a Goomba into the club. Fuck. It's going to be OK, man. Yeah, whatever. Meanwhile, there's a there's this blogger, this nebbish with an internet connection, bad mouthing me all over town. Do you know this guy? The the celebrinator? Celebr what? I whatever. Come on. All right, who's the girl? There wasn't a girl, man. There's always a girl. Now you're gonna take uh, Tony down to Golden Pier driving range, and. It would help that while you're driving, you don't hit the police car and end up having to drive way out of your way trying to avoid being pulled over by the police, which I ended up doing. So what I will do is fast forward through all the mess and bring us to the start of the mission where Tony and Luis enter the like I right now I just hit the cops so again I'll just fast forward through all this nonsense to get to the mission come on he's in here Oh! Rock, hey, how are you? There they are, the spick and the fag. Tony, shit, you got burrito breath. You ain't been eating Mexican again, have you? Yo, Rock, you invested in the wrong clubs, man. Maybe split sides is more your vibe. Oh, but a bum. I'm sure I would have found that funny if I spoke spick. Real shame, I'll have to ask my maid to translate for me. Rock, what do you need? I need you to help me get some information out of this union prick who's decided to get an overinflated opinion of himself. These fucking guys, stuck in the 1970s or something. Where is he? He's right down there. Fuck! <laughs> you fucking missed me, you piece of shit. Fucking prick. Oh, big man. Yeah, yeah, you fuck, you missed me. I'm bitch. gonna get down there and go you talk missed. to him. Like you flag. hit him with some balls when I tell you to, huh? You think you can do that for me, Louise? 
Yeah, I'll give it a try. Now, the secret is to try and get the timing right. When you pull back and the ball, you know, you got to get things adjusted. But when you pull back your swing, your back swing, if you see on the bar right next to the circle in the lower left corner, you got to try and get the white marker right on top of that black marker. You can either go too short or too far. It's a good thing this is not a timed mission because, yeah, I whiffed on that one. It's real difficult to kind of get it. And the guy, uh, Rocco, keeps moving the uh, cart. And again, you got to get the white bar right on top of that black bar between the red and the green to hit it correctly and it's again very frustrating and I'm getting close but not quite there but once you do you see the end results of what is going on and the guy is annoying as he harasses you and says bad things and Tony kind of annoys you too let's see if I if I'm going to fast forward a little bit to try and get it right Eye on the ball. You my fucking caddy? <laughs> yes! You gonna tell me who's holding out? All right, all right. The other family's got libel in their pocket. The foreman on Columbus cites their boy. Okay, so far. Fuck you, all right? Fuck you, there ain't nothing else. Why is he moving it? Damn, if I know. Don't Rocco have someone else to hit the batting cage for him? You've met the guy, haven't you? I can't imagine he's got too many friends. With the greater distance, you need to be quicker on trying to get that white bar lined up onto the black bar. And yeah, it's still extremely frustrating to do. And it takes a real quick reaction to get it done. And yeah, here we go in short. You can overshoot or you can undershoot, and that's the problem. And yeah, this is getting a kind of frustrating. Smoothly does it. Come on now. You want to step up? Be my guest. You and I both know that ain't it. All right, okay, okay. Jack Duffy with the transport workers. He's getting fat off the other guys. Oh, let me see now. Let me go! Okay, I was a little better at it this time. Now he's moving the cart, and I got to readjust again. And now I got to be quicker on getting that white line onto the black line. It's... A, a real pain in the ass, but yeah. Ooh, I got it, I think. I got it. I thought they bred you tacos for sports. You're not going to wear any tour championships, that's for sure. Enough of the commentary. Get your fucking eye in, Lou. Breathe, Lou. Remember to breathe. There's got to be more than just those two. This comes from right up top, the head of the LTA. He's in with the Messina, so you can't do shit. They know where I am, assholes. I wouldn't want to be you. You motherfucker. First of all, do not take Tony's advice. Stay up high and use the carbine rifle and the submachine gun he gave you 
to shoot at these guys. And yeah, you can take them down. It just do not give up the high ground. You've got the advantage, as you can see. What are you waiting for? Now that you shot up all the bad guys, now is the time to go down and talk to Rocco. Tony's standing there, he's freaked out, but you just go down the steps. You took no damage whatsoever, very minimal damage, which comes in handy with the next part of the mission. And that is going down and talking to Rocco, and another event transpires. Now you have to follow Rocco on a merry chase through uh, the uh, riverside, whatever, on golf carts. And Tony's going to shoot at the bad guys. Again, you took very minimal damage. Your body armor will protect you. Let Tony shoot at the bad guys. Just stick close to Rocco and you'll get to the end. In fact, I'm going to fast forward through this because it's dull. And we will get to the end. That was a pleasant outing, Rock. Where's that purse with you know what? We square? Square? What you borrowed? At those points? You ain't even making a dent on the interest. Besides, I'm about to have to do all the messy work on this guy myself. Well, but I, I, I told you shit. I told you everything. I'll see you girls later. Jesus! Now you gotta drive Tony back to his apartment, and there's some interesting conversation that goes on about the whole business and what's going on and sharing and stuff like that. Crabs are involved, I think. You can read the commentary. It's dull driving the golf cart, but uh, yeah, it sucks driving the golf cart in order to get Tony back to his apartment so then the mission will save and you can bring Luis back to his place. Let me just say there's a certain magic to cabs when you want to get between Tony's place and Luis's place. The cab fare is not that expensive and it's really good. You don't have to drive. And when you need a car, you're supplied a car. But it's sometimes fun to drive around and crash around. Here we are, bro. Rest up, okay? Listen, Lou, would you mind paying Maury a visit? He says he needs help with something. I know he's a bit of a schmuck, but we owe the man money, and I don't want him anywhere near the clubs. I feel you there, T. That guy is a social atom bomb. I'll go see him. Wahoo! 60%. Um, I'm going to get Luis back to his apartment and then uh, get them all armed up. So, you know, basically get him into a better position when he needs to be in a firefight. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you like this type of video, hit the subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the notification icon if you subscribe. I put videos out four days a week. 
I may change that in the future. In fact, I don't know if I'll be putting out four or videos four days a week when this one comes up. Um, it's actually not too bad because I have this stuff done well ahead of time. I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. I thank all those people who subscribe, all those people who leave a comment or thumbs up. It shows YouTube that my channel is worth watching and people are subscribing to it and I can maybe monetize it. Hopefully I'll get to 100 subscribers. At the time of my doing this video, well, I only have 44. But I thank them all for subscribing. As always, thanks for stopping by.